Today's video is on making traditional Chinese tiles and templeware, what we see on top of the roofs of the temples around Hong Kong and in many of the Chinese cities here. For centuries on, we've seen that families work together, starting from shaping the basic slab to make the clay that they use to make these tiles. Glazed tiles have been used in China since the Zhao Dynasty, that's 1046 to 256 BC, as materials for roofing. During the Song Dynasty, the manufacture of glazed tiles was standardized. In the Ming Dynasty and Qing Dynasty, glazed tiles became even more popular for top tier buildings, including palace halls and the Forbidden City and ceremonial temples, for example, the Heavenly Temple in Beijing. There are two main types of Chinese glazed tiles, the glazed tubular tile and the glazed plate tile. Glazed tubular tiles are molded into tube shapes on a wooden mold and then cut into halves along their length to produce two tubular tiles, each semicircular in section. Glazed plate tiles are laid side by side and overlapping each other. In the Song Dynasty, the standard overlap was 40%, which increased to 70% in the Qing Dynasty. With the Song style 40% overlap, it was not possible to have triple tile overlap as there was a 20% gap between the first plate tile and the third plate tile. Hence, if a crack developed in the second tile, water leakage was inevitable. On the other hand, with the Qing Dynasty 70% of overlap, the first plate tile was overlapped 70%, 40% and 10% by the second, third and fourth tiles respectively. Thus, even if the second and third tiles developed crack, there would be no leakage. Glazed tubular tiles used for the eave edges have an outer edge made of a round shaped top, often molded with a pattern of a dragon or flowers. Eave edge plate tiles have their outer edge decorated with triangles to facilitate rain sh shedding. Each district in China has its own unique pattern. Hence, for example, you'll see the patterns here are flowers, or they may be of dragons. <laughs> 